Hey there, YouTubers. Right, got the uh, i9-10850K in here. Let's go ahead and look at the system info. So, that's what we got for CPU. We have the Gigabyte Z490 Aris Elite AC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable Intel's Turbo Boost for this one. All right. Uh, I will also use this video later on to show you what the i9-10850K does as far as uh, performance in something like Fortnite when I turn it off. So we'll use uh, inside of Fortnite, there's replay mode, and we'll uh, compare before and after. All right, so from here, what we need to do is go to the BIOS, and my screen recorder will stop recording. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the computer, and then we're going to hit the delete key and then I will restart the screen recorder again uh, so you guys can see what's going on so here we go hit restart and it will not allow you to see anything here momentarily like I said jamming on the delete key so you see that the screen has paused and actually it woke up out of it alright so maybe I won't have to restart alright so pretty simple process here folks advanced CPU and turbo boost technology we're gonna shut off both of these because we don't want to take any chance folks that we hit the wrong one right um, this CPU is good for this so And though I did that, it is back on. Okay. So we're just going to save and exit. And that was easy enough to do. Sometimes you have to hit the enter key and the uh, left mouse button doesn't work. So for lucky, we'll reboot back up into Windows. guys can't figure out my password I got these annoying messages I haven't figured out how to get rid of yet but we will get rid of them I guarantee it even if I have to reformat this EVO 980 and all this other stuff all right let's go back into here now so what should we expect to see some pretty cool temps I'm imagining folks Once this thing gets up to speed. Now, will it drop less than 29? Yeah, there we go. So, I already saw a low of 28 for a moment. So, you let this thing flatline. We should see some pretty cool temps. So, it's pretty much been hovering at 30. Um, you know, there's probably some stuff going on in the background, but... Hovering at about 30 with turbo boost on. And now you can see the max core frequency is not going to get above 3.60. No matter what we do to this thing. And the package TDP is going to stay pretty darn low t as well. Now I'm going to run the benchmark. And I'll try to drop in um, somewhere on the screen, show you what it benched at before we did the uh, disabled turbo boost. So yeah, it looks like 28 is a good temp. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this, folks. We'll get that going. And I don't expect the temps to get too hot here at all. Um, curious if it will even make it to 50 degrees Celsius. Right now, it doesn't look like it's going to at all. Right now, I honestly think I could probably use an Intel, um, the stock cooler that comes with something like an i5-10400, maybe the, uh, the upgraded one in the 10700. That would be enough to keep this CPU cool. 
Now you do see the package TDP got up there a little bit. Uh, part of that is probably because of the fact I have power limit set to unlimited. So, we check this out. So it didn't get any higher than 3.6, which you can expect. And this is nowhere near what this chip is capable of. And then the max temp, 45. So this, you know, can turn this, this CPU into a, a monster, honestly, for somebody doing a mini ITX build that, that can't figure out how to cool it properly. You can always turn off the turbo boost. Lots of reasons. I have a video out there, folks, on reasons why you would shut off Turbo Boost. Um, it's my own thoughts on it, whether you know any of it's accurate. It's another story, but hey, that's what I came up with. As there's really nothing on the internet that explains why you would want to shut it off. So, all right, so that's going to do it for this portion, folks. Um, hey, thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.